O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God. To you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. And our psalm set for today is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will we not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seas. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar, and the kingdoms are shaken, but God utters his voice, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord, what destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear, and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This morning we have a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading is from the Epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 2. As it is, we do not yet see everything in subjection to human beings, but we do see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honour because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Benedictus. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, 
God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Let us pray. During this season, this Thy Kingdom Come season, we are invited to think of and to pray for five friends, friends or neighbours, who we would like to draw nearer to Christ. So on this day, we pray for our five to be woken up to all that they have already received from God in their lives and all that he offers them in Christ, that they might praise him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we have this little litany. Through Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We collect for thy kingdom come. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill up our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 
Hallelujah.